So that's nothing. They should have also included Pac-Man versus, even if that's in like the Namco Music Amp for Switch, because that shit is uh, yeah, pretty A plus. So... And it had Mario. It does have Mario. More Mario than oh. Who's Mario? Less Chris Pratt Mario than the Mario movie. <laughs> Great. It's done. Thanks. What are we talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, I removed that from, uh. Oh, we're gonna.
Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome to Puzzle Wednesday. We are here with, uh, don't let the name fool you. We're, we were here with Pedal Crash with over a year of brackets at this point. Um, it's funny, trash attack time. The one mode that just existentially scares me with how violent it can get. And, uh, before we get too far into it, I just want to deal out one singular public shaming to Moriconda, who managed to <laughs> slip into a closed bracket somehow and force us to debate whether we redo stream route, kick him, or uh, leave him at bottom seed. So everyone else should give him a very public shaming, and uh, he should thank <laughs> Xerxian for deciding to work around him. I'm watching you. You're on the list. Anyway, uh, on commentary tonight, we have Xerxian, the uh -huh. advocate. Uh, actually. Crash is a video game. It very much is. Uh, Runespism. Huh? Who? Uh, dude, I don't know. Never heard of him. Gotcha. And, uh, Raz. Hello. So we're gonna be tagging back and forth through everyone tonight, but, uh... What do I'm we also have? participating in this tournament. It's true. A I, lot three of, of the commentators are. That's that's kind of the puzzle <laughs> Wednesday I'm special. Be the only full timers. Oh, I'm <laughs> undefeatable, unbeatable. Hey, we're both orchids. Anyway, several orchids. Let's uh, kid. let's get to it. Or what do we have for first stream match tonight? Uh, I believe our first stream match is going to be uh, Ashley and Dark Slayer. Where's Dark Slayer at? Oh, I'm Where's, I'm on the where's stage. Dark Slayer? His matches are being called, so. It's Craig. There we go. Oh, Lepraito's here. <laughs> Lepraito's <laughs> been hanging out off screen for a little while. <laughs> it's very considerate of them to not be visible, demoralize people. <laughs> Just, just their presence is intimidating enough. <laughs> yeah, their aura. Only people of a certain strength can withstand it. Oh, good. Dragon Ball right, so stuff. Using the, the Landmaker costume for you. So. Whoa. Oh. I clicked on something and it made a message come up, even though I hadn't chosen the message. <laughs> There's no bugs in this. <gasps> it happened again! Maybe you really were just too slow. <laughs> That's so weird. It's, it's great it's starting like... <laughs> showcase. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually. Whoa. That's weird. Cabinet. Have to a bug. Where's where's our where's our big dark player at? Player. I don't know. I thought it was frag. Um. Well, looks like I automatically win. De oh, no, we got there's there's a little bit of a time window there. Let's let's just hang out for a little bit. I love to hang out. Well, I I also love to hang out. Yeah, okay. I got a second. We gotta react. Yeah, we got a lot of. Oh. Oh. Uh, we got a yeah, so yay from Ashley. <laughs> Alright, I'd better go look up what we're playing first to. Oh, first to three until top eight. Well, there you go. <sighs> oh, you can use the keyboard in the lobby. Okay. That's funny. You, you can, can also use the keyboard, use the keyboard in the game. And you're like... Well, that's... Yeah. Oh, right, the movement tech. Zoom. So, Mr. Advocate. Yeah. Do we want to... Go ahead and do our alternative winners round one, and uh, buy Dark uh, Slayer some time, or do we just uh, give them about we can do four that. minutes yeah, in the I mean, DQ? I don't know if... 
<laughs> Ashley gets a buy. Ashley gets a buy. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Davi, uh, you still listening? Perhaps. Too intimidating. What's uh? What's your thoughts? I mean, we can. Uh, what is our other winners we are on for right now? Oh, it'll be Digi Digi and Solitaire. Okay. Yeah, I'm about that. We need to get some material on stream. Let's do it. But, uh, I, I, I have so many people to give a stern talking to tonight. <laughs> oh, Dark Slayer's in the Twitch chat. Dark Slayer, you're supposed to be here. Correct. You're up. You're up. You have to fight me. Well, no, we already got well, Digi Solitaire queued, so <laughs> you're gonna have to wait That's because fine. you were not yeah. here on time. Well, once again, I am punished for the is. actions of others. Mm. Mm. You could simply. Yep, there's Digi. Okay. All right, we got Digi. Do we? Uh... Whoever shows up first. Solitaire reacted, so... Solitaire. Oh, for Solitaire. Solitaire, you know the code? Probably should make... There's our boy, alright. Go on the code. code. Okay, where are we at? Which one? Uh, bottom left. Bottom left. We're gonna watch them? Cool. Yeah. Showtime. Now, in the left corner is... Fairy, and the other one is the squirrel. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with Trash Attack, picture a puzzle game where if your board gets filled up, you lose. Okay. I can't think of any other puzzle games that do this. Use your imagination for this. Normally, there is a fun tug of war bar at the bottom. But this time that's not here, and instead it's something to kill. Oh. And also when you clear garbage, it creates a color block. And also the match is going to be over very quickly. True. Solitaire actually did have a two-chain to escape from the pressure. Uh, but, Solids are growing a lot in the beginning of the game. Growing in Trash Attack is scary. Yeah, unlike Tug of War where, uh... Ooh, very cute chain from Digi. I wonder how much he's actually like, labbed out this mode. Or if we're uh, just kind of learning on the fly here. Solitaire wasn't our last Trash Attack racket, but I think he wasn't playing like this at the time. Um, I think he, he was... Like, I think growing a bunch more was something he picked up to improve at Tug of War later. Mm -hmm. And that didn't, uh, you know... That doesn't yeah, translate thought it was, thought over it was two out of three. to Trash Attack, unless you're... No, it burst 2-3. Oh, yeah. burst 2-3. Oh. Solitaire is still playing. Solitaire? Solitaire? He's or he was typing oh. T.O. Desk. Uh, huh? Now he's not. Uh, 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 that chain still works. It does. You actually can potentially get some stuff off of it. You gotta make some room clear. before you get killed. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I would say that uh, some of this is, is just uh, probably since the last tournament, Solitaire has played mostly Tug of War, where growing is a lot harder to punish uh, directly. True. In Trash Attack, the fact that the garbage falls down instantly uh, means that if you get caught at the wrong time, you may just die. So, it is how it is. If you only have five spaces open and you take a little five garbage attack... Dead. Game over. Thumbs up. Alright. We're gonna try again with Dark Ashley Slayer. and Dark Slayer. Dark Slayer, where are you? Oh, 
We got a thumbs up from Dark Slayer. Do they know the password? Maybe they don't know the password. I would be surprised at this point. It's been a while since we've seen Dark Slayer, but I don't know. Growing will make you suffer a greater counter hit in trash attack. That's uh certainly one thing. But basically, if you try to play on, like, tug-of-war boards in Trash Attack, you are committing to never, ever, ever taking damage. <laughs> Dark Slayer. Where are you? Me. Well, it looks like I'll never get to play this game again. Dang. Here? No. What a shame. These things happen. I'm doing the arcade cabinet slalom. Okay, well, MDM is going to see if there's one. Player does not know the password. One, two, two, one. Dead with a voice modulator so that bots can't hear it. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, just like uh, all of the other online greats, Pedal Crash gets flooded with bots all the time. True. It's true. Yes. It's a big problem. There yeah. he is. Okay. There's Dark Player. Look Luckily for me, I'm so good that no bot can defeat me. I've tested this in game. Connect to the spectators, and I'm gonna mute and deafen, and I'll just play. Oh. Best of luck. So, Dark Slayer, one of our uh, friends from Vietnam. Ashley, the developer, from Fairyland. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I thought you were going to say also Vietnam. Uh, not to my that knowledge. That wouldn't be true, though. I mean, you're right. Actually, so actually, the usual six. strategy is to just build chains with whatever they get. Like, they do not grow very much, which actually works quite well in this mode. True. Uh, yeah, okay. already Dark Slayer is at the point where... Uh, one more mistake is going to get them killed. Well, hang uh, on. You get... Starting to land a, a few funny small hits here. Uh, Actually, there's a really... couple of big poke options if, like, she can just go for oh. Okay. That Blocking that attack. Go. There we go. Alright. Dark Slayer's too recovered, Actually, though. Ashley's gonna block that, yeah. Alright, they're gonna play a little bit of garbage tennis. The yin yang from Ashley does not work. It's one of the more annoying formations of pedals you can get in this game, is like two interlocking L shapes. Because there are yeah. a lot of ways in which it just like doesn't work. And you'll yeah, that. most interlocking L shapes just don't work. Uh oh, wait. Oh, it's fine? It's fine? Oh, one turn away from death there. Wow. Oh my god, the Grow? Dark Slayer, are you insane? He's moving mm. very quickly. That is... I mean, actually did have 11 in Q. Uh... The other thing about Trash Attack is because of color clear, you can actually um, hold off garbage for quite a while by continuously clearing in ways that yeah. in Tug of War require you to have like a pretty well-laid-out board. You yeah, you it. can do back-to-back -back moves just by clearing out garbage in a lot of situations. Especially if there's like one gap between two garbage. You just yeah. make a clear in between them and then that's it. You've got another clear right there. Yep. That is correct. Okay, so the lightning two from Ashley. 
they've put something between their orange on the right. Oh, and now their trigger's gone. <laughs> well... Hmm. Ashley's puzzling this one out. Hmm. Okay, they've managed to get their 5 chain back. They actually cleared out the orange group as well, so that was fairly clever. Yeah. Pretty good move, but it's kind of just a perfect cancel, actually. Yeah, things are even. Dark Slayer on Dark Slayer. A... Yeah. yeah, the board's a little more filled up on their side, which could be good or bad. Yep. <laughs> really is all dependent on whether or not you can make it start singing. Because uh, if you're just growing for expediency's sake, like in Tug of War, you might just grow for a very short term, like tempo plays and stuff like that. If you do that in the trash tag, you will be sad. You will die. Actually, very cleverly using that giant block of garbage to just get back to back chains, basically. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff on the bottom too. It's pretty usable. Yeah. It looks like they're kind of just well, not ignoring, but they're not really actively going for the L in the bottom right. Okay. There we go. Maybe could have made a little bit more out of that, but I forget. Does this mode have some sort of equivalent to margin time, or like damage scaling? If the, it does. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So in the settings, out. this is called escalation. Okay. Um, and it actually will really only kick in for fairly long games. Mm -hmm. uh, the wiki has the full rules, but I'm pretty yeah. sure the game has to last two minutes and forty seconds before it starts. Yeah, off the top of my head, that I sounds about right. Four minutes and forty seconds, actually. Oh, it's a word. When it starts. Yes. We're, we're likely not going to see that then, huh? Huh. No, it's, it's very unlikely to happen. It is kind of a thing that happens between two beginning players. Yeah, I think it was primarily added because... In Tug of War, like... Okay, so it was added kind of to solve the same problem that Margin Time solves in a bunch of other games, which is um, in Pedal Crash, at least in Tug of War, like, doing the basic game action of just, like, you know, clearing stuff off your board does make progress. Also, that was a huge hit from Dark Slayer. Mm. I mean, it's mostly countered, but... The thing is, Ashley's open board is, is not going to... Or it's gonna make this pretty easy to clean out, actually, so... Um, but yeah, it, yeah, as far as escalation goes, um, in Tug of War, there's not really any problems, because, like, you can just clear stuff, and, like, eventually someone's gonna get five more clears than the other person, and they're gonna take the stock or whatever. So, like... Tug of War doesn't really need this, but mm. uh, when you when you actively have to send garbage, like sending enough garbage to kill someone is like not something that you learn how to do for quite some time potentially. So if you want the game to not last actually forever, you have to insert some kind of mechanic to uh, to make that you know crank up the garbage or whatever so people can actually do damage to each other. Ooh. Red yeah. group getting blocked off. Yeah, Doc said I really didn't want that garbage near that red. If I remember correctly, the escalation was based on the testing in the beta, but uh, there weren't a lot of people who knew how to send a lot of garbage or survive for a long time in the beta, so... Mm. Yeah, because that would have been... those rules would have been written before online was even a thing. Yeah. Actually, it's Titoing. I don't know if Ashley was strictly dead from that first shot alone. But... I think they were. Like I was, <laughs> I was also waiting to didn't out. help. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say waiting doesn't help, but doing the wrong move helps even less. I don't think there was a correct move though. There were any clears at that point. It was really just you make a move. Hope that you don't take a, you know, every single space in your board <laughs> and pray. Mm. Uh, not, not much you can do at that point. Alright, Ashley going all the way around the board here. Yep. Almost perfect cancel. Yeah, a fun chain to basically no links that didn't have to move a little bit. A very non-compact chain.
Huh. So not okay, Ashley is going back this corner. Oh. oh, I thought she was going to grow in the yellow and take it from the right, but... Well, that would have made the other corner backwards. Oh. That wasn't paying attention to that side of the board. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you hate to see a double backwards corner. Mm. Ooh, but no, it's okay. fine. There was only the one move that they lost. Yeah. This is... I mean, Darkslayer's got a lot of things. Um... Yeah. Tempo save on the side there. Like, I think Ashley's starting to tip over the threshold where, like... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, there are... Color if you're clever <laughs> with the garbage, your opponent is not extremely quick. The threshold can be hard to find sometimes. Yeah. I was gonna say, the, the real problem is when you start having, like, a lot of garbage and not very many pedals, because then finding the clears to actually even activate color clear becomes difficult. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. Oh, oh, no! Yeah, that is absolutely not the move I would have done. Uh, you don't have it anymore. No, yes. Ashley. Okay. Dang. Welcome, Chikapoo. It was close, though. It was close, though. <laughs> so Dark Slayer will go on to fight the Frito. Oh, that's their reward. Yes. Oh. Alrighty then. Where is that putting us for streamer out? Uh, I believe our next match is. Crash and Raspberry. Yep. So Trashpa and Raz uh, semi-recently did an FT5 exhibition of Pedal Crash for, I believe, Guardian, right? Sounds correct. Yeah. So. I've also been watching the two of them play Trash Attack recently, this week. And, I mean, Trashpa is just getting a lot better at the game in general. But also, they seem to be quite good at trash attacks specifically. I mean, yeah, it's in I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, what were you going to say? Because I thought I just hit the nail on the head. Yeah. I mean, I would say that, that uh, part of it is that Trash Boat has a very. He has pretty good intuitions about. Um... Yeah, I had to leave the lobby and get back in. Not sure okay. what happened. Yeah, <laughs> same. Um, I think Trash Bro has pretty good intuitions about how to play on really dirty boards. Mm. Like, I've seen him squeeze four and five chains out of just the most disgusting boards, and I'm like, okay. That's, that's right. pretty good. <laughs> um, I don't know how much that necessarily will help here, because you really just don't want to ever be on boards that full or that crowded, but um, at the very least, I mean, it's, it's sort of a, like, Understanding the game mechanics to the point where you don't have to think about it, that kind of thing. Yeah, here he's, he's kind of yeah. forced to take his chain in half, actually. Unfortunately. Yeah, Roz managed to find a real quick five by making use of a very clever boomerang. Okay. And even just that might be enough of the initiative to keep the entire match on lock. Uh, Crash finding a tempo saver into a color clear to get another four <laughs> chain, so... <laughs> I'm finding some things right now. Okay, he didn't actually want that, I don't think. Uh, yeah, that's oh boy. That's he is scary. now playing... He is now playing scary gaming, for sure. <laughs> oh my god, alright. He's really making use of tempo savers. Tempo <laughs> savers are all the more precious in trash attack because being off by one move is far more likely to meet the difference between life and death than in, like, Tug of War. <laughs> so, being able to, uh... If, if you play a lot of, um, Trash Trial, actually, in the main game, this is something you'll probably figure out very quickly, is that you will need to optimize around things like, oh, I need to move this pedal over here, but if I do that, like, garbage will drop and I'll die. So, I need to find some other thing I can clear that will move the pedal for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you have to start doing stuff like that. But uh, again, Trash Boat kind of playing on a full board. Raz sniped him out. That'll happen.
button chain from Roz. Oh yeah, that's going all over the place. I think he's taking a little more damage than he wants here. Raz is blocking most of it. Yeah. Mmm, trash build a little bit of corner case here. Ooh, he doesn't like this. Oh, it's scary. Scary gaming. Again, he is playing to not not get hit at this point. Again, I would I wouldn't say he's definitely you know oh. like oh well okay Raz is a way out here okay that's a lot of damage Raz does not have the board space for this manages to block almost all of it but gets the double oh, yeah. oh. these were, this yeah. was like two people fighting on like a log over a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Raz's board got yeah. crowded at the end that time, too. But there's very, again, was like, there's very yeah. last two moves by Raz. I don't think she quite reacted to the fact that she only had one spot left. <laughs> well, even if she had more than one spot left, right? I think, like, Trash Boat landed about five extra garbage right before that accept even happened, so... Mm -hmm. Ooh, Trash Boat has to take this chain pattern now. Oh, actually, oh, maybe <laughs> color clear on purpose? Oh, that's you a never nice know? Thing. Big hit. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Raz kind of on the back foot now, but manages to cancel it all. Yeah, but then another big hit comes in. Yeah, it's another 11. Trashbutt looking to turn his chain around, actually, here. It's going to get blocked off. Unfortunately, not going to get everything he wanted, but he's working on another banger. This could really, really That's hit. very inches from death. Raz is still in deep trouble, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad I didn't win against Dark Slayer because it would have meant I would have had to fight the Prito. Mm -hmm. Prito is lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had the pleasure of playing against them for a little while. <laughs> Maybe you'll get the chance this time. Mm. Uh, Raz has grown in a lot for Trash Attack. Yeah, it seems like she's already seconds from death here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this I mean, is she has a bunch oh, of yes. things, <laughs> but uh, oh. I'll wait. There's a oh. couple moves. There's potentially. Oh, uh, wait. How did she have time to do that? I thought for sure she was just dead. Oh, she might be dead. Uh, for most, for most of those moves, she had no damage in her queue. Really? I thought there was something waiting. There was like no, two she, moves she at the end where I thought. Oh no, the, yeah, the two moves at the end were done during grace time, but like, yeah. the first five of those seven moves, there was just no damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I guess I'm more surprised she managed to get more than one move out of grace time somehow. <laughs> I was like, alright, well, so it is. Yeah, alright, trash put up 3-1. We'll move on to fight Lephrytel. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, time for our other winner's quarters that we are right. streaming. Great, you're up. Huh? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Rune fighting? Uh, Digi Digi. Alright. Get out of here, Mori. You're on the list. <laughs> Swear to God. Usually if someone's on the list, that means they are allowed in. <laughs> Not <laughs> on this one. <laughs> oh, it's so true. No, this is a different that kind of list. That doesn't appear to be the case. I am staring you. Sir. 
<laughs> okay. Nope. Mora, no, get off the cab. What are you doing? Digi, get on the cab. <laughs> Digi, no one, get on the cab. No one is actually on the cab yet. I know. Mora's just looking, respectfully. Mora's looking very I'm gonna need to ask Mora to leave again. Digi. I swear. Nope. Here. I have right. been challenged by Digi. Good. Lepredo is here. Lepredo is always here. What do you mean? Okay. Actually, you know what? Mora's getting at least a band level before the night's over. Ooh. I've been thinking, Ross. a lot of people have blue names lately. I should probably change mine back to purple or something. Oh, you can do that in this? Yeah. I had no idea. It's very important to me in Pedal Crash Online that everybody can pick their own special color, but everything's their special color. It's helpful for knowing when people have the wherewithal to choose the correct color, which is purple. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have any argument against that, you're right. Pretty big attacks flying back and forth, but Ruin's board is in better shape, so we'll see if Digi continues to put on enough pressure here to uh, defend this relatively more crowded board. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna start taking damage here, yeah. This this could could be problematic. Okay, takes away the or throws away the two chain there. That might actually spell a real big problem for Digi. Okay. I think that's gonna spell a gigantic oh, problem. Yeah. One move away from being able Digi to had all ups. Could have blocked at least some more of that, and it just simply did not. I like Crash Attack because I personally think it has a lot more dynamic counterplay. It's... I mean... It can be a far screen watchier game. <laughs> not that everyone plays it this way, but... I'm not really watching my opponent's screen, but I am trying to think of, like, what they might be doing. Like, just imagine the opponent's screen in your mind. What does it look like? <laughs> Better than mine. Well, that's a problem. You should fix that one. Six, seven, eight, nine. So, that's a much longer chain than I'm used to seeing. <laughs> for sure. But Digi does have a five to follow up, so... He may actually land a... Oh, he lands one. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Gray Squirrel. Uh... And she at malevolent garbage rears its ugly head. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, pretty spicy stuff here. Digi... Could've probably gotten a little bit more out of that. Instead, he's going to eat... That. Um... Blocks some? Uh... Yeah, Digi needs to... Okay. That's a pretty good breach, and that'll keep this garbage off his back for the most part. That garbage landing in the center could be funny problems. Uh, gotta handle it a little bit better with color clear. Okay, does manage Whoa. to find a three chain, but probably Whoa. not gonna have any more moves after that. Yeah. Oh, get on the pressure too much. <clears throat> Again, the, the early game, Digi was playing pretty okay, but I think, uh, you know, didn't land enough, and, like, Broom wasn't even really bothered by the, uh, the hits that he got. At the end of the day, it's just, it's just gonna start slapping together five chains at some point, so. Okay. Oh, whoops. Digi's spending a lot of time worrying about compactness. Forced to take his chain in, like, half. Oof. Ooh! Color clear chaining. <laughs> that was actually incredible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Empty footwork. Yeah, that's... Again, Rimsport not looking too much worse for wear at the end of all of that, though. Digi is able to put out 
enough pressure to, you know, counter all this though. For now. Oh. Ugh. Yep. Oh. Could have continued clearing upwards there. Instead, going to. Yeah. Oh. Die. It's rough. That was a really tough drop. But yeah. Just completely clogged up the area they were working in. I mean, that is the thing. Like, you definitely will not get garbage over petals on your board. <laughs> There's open spaces on your board, that's where it's going. <laughs> so. Yeah. One of them are also at a lower priority, which you can use to your advantage sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, you can certainly uh, play a bunch of games around... Like, if you have enough um, open spaces, then you can keep some spaces protected by, you know, if you have a, like, a trigger, you can keep a spawner in the middle, and then garbage won't fall. Stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, that, that takes care of winners round two. So I believe we will be moving on to winner semifinals, right? Right. Okay. Great. Loprito crash boat. Loprito crash boat. And from this point, it's first to five games. First to mm -hmm. five. I'm interested to see this one, because I think Crash Boat, again, like I said, I think they are specifically good at crash attack. They were beating me in a surprising number of rounds when we were practicing. <laughs> and I have never seen Loprito play trash attack at all, so I have no idea if they are specifically good at it or not. It certainly... Uh, I, yeah, that's... I don't think I've ever seen Loprito play trash attack either, so... We will, uh... We will see. I think Loprito does have a very, like... Like, his style of play is probably gonna translate well, but mm -hmm. some of the habits that don't get punished, or that don't get punished in Tug of War, like, again, growing in a lot, things like that, like... Loprito will still be doing those in Tug of War at some point later on. Like, the opener, you could probably just hang with it normally, but there's still a lot more stuff later. That needs to be, uh, you know, more trash attack specific, I would say. <laughs> well, they have built a kill shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I didn't see. I didn't see that green link on the right. That was a bit. Thirty-five. Thirty-five and trash attack. Thirty-five <laughs> through an attack. <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> you, die. you just yeah. literally lose the video game immediately. Yeah. If, if thirty garbage just... lands on your board, that's it. Yeah. That's... Uh, what you do is you build the same thing, but in less than forty seconds. That was. Yeah. Come on, try to do that, but faster this time. <laughs> but yes, that that that. Chain is nine by forty is worth about fifty damage. Yes. So in fact, it's almost exactly right. exactly right. Yeah, it is. It it is about exactly, exact, yeah, it's pretty much exactly fifty damage. So the Prado had something in his queue. He had about fifteen in his queue. Countered that. <laughs> also said thirty five through it. <laughs> and then Trashbow had a second attack to block, but it wasn't nearly enough. All right. This it seems like Leprito is like three moves ahead at all times. Like, I don't see what Leprite's building until they're done building it. That's... I have a lot of feelings about what it's like to fight Leprito, and... <laughs> um, every move he does is worth more than every move you do is one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Morakanda in chat saying, what game is this? <laughs> More. This game is called Poochie Carrot. It is, it is called Poochie Carrot. That's correct. Made by Taito in 1997 for arcades. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Game Boy Color. Amongst and Game Boy other Color. Things. And it should have come out for Dreamcast, but it didn't. It's on PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, but they had to cut out some animation frames. Mm. That was interesting. Lefrido just made a normal chain there. Lefrido actually, like, 
did something, and then, um, his, I think the space he really wanted to attack got blocked off, so mm -hmm. he kind of pivoted and left some material hanging around for later. <laughs> but again, Leprado is pretty good at using, like, non-full boards, so... <laughs> <laughs> no. Cripes, what do you do? Yeah, I, uh... you know, I was surprised that Leprido didn't extend that chain further because they were only going to take one damage, but it was enough. Uh, I, I would not be surprised if Leprido were a heavy screen watcher based on all the speed running. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. So. You never know. Okay, Game double backwards corner. Have, yeah, I could have like unexplored potential as a strategy. Prado. Oh wait, I see the trigger. Yeah, the funny <laughs> purple link. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, for a moment I thought that chain didn't have a trigger and they were playing with fire. Well, <laughs> like here, for uh -oh. instance. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 Still playing with fire a little bit, yeah, so this is the circumstance where you really don't want to, uh... Oh, this, uh -oh. this could hit this is... pretty hard. Uh-oh, is this oh, yeah, I see, he, he knows that he can't double lot. push here. My, yeah, my heart is swelling seeing this happen to Leprido, because this happens to me a lot. Where you build a <laughs> chain, and then you realize that there is no one move that sets up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that uh, when the Prado set up that blue in the top left corner, um, that backwards corner, it got buried pretty immediately. Yeah. Mm. Trash boat on the board. Yeah, the buried backwards corner would not have mattered so much if there was a quick way to set off the second chain, because it looked like it was just, ah, oh, well, I'll just make two five chains then. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can always get that. Oh, a little bit of a <laughs> color conflict from Trash Boat. Manages to figure it out though, that's actually gonna cancel yeah. off almost all that shot. Leprido yeah, Leprido's opening follow. was not quite as incredible as usual. No branches, <laughs> so it was a little slow. No branches? Mm. No, it was oh. just a big old 19. Uh, are we dead? Yeah. Maybe could have avoided that if um, he tried to time the miracle grow or something, but. <sighs> the first of five? It's a first of five, so four one. Yes. No, Trash Boat managed to win one of them. We've played five yep. games, but we're still going. Mm. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh man, this is a real fun chain. <laughs> <laughs> just had attacked the little the little two for yeah, on the yeah. end to get it to be a yeah, five. Yeah, just chain. A, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I remember early on, I think it was after one of the like uh, earlier tournaments, uh, when Leprido hadn't quite taken off quite so much, um, he just left a comment in FNF that said, I love sandwich. <laughs> and I was like, this is the purest comment anyone's ever said about Pedal Crash. <laughs> Man does like his sandwiches. Create the free chain as a byproduct of that chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saving tempo again is worth a lot here, and he's very good at it. So. <laughs> Trash Boat is playing extremely well. Oh yeah. No, again, They've Trash Boat is playing out of. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Trash Boat actually had a much better move that would have kept them alive there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so they pushed the blue down with their final move, but actually the red right next to it, if they pushed that down first as a grace move, then the blue, it would have been like a branching four or so. Right. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, you're back in the hot seat now. Me? Indeed. No. Oh. <laughs> well, I have to fight Digi Digi. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. All right. So another, uh, I guess, match we've seen a lot of lately. 
Room in Tin Wild. In Tin Wild, Vietnam's finest. Um, Room, of course, the demon from down under. We don't need to, we don't need to explain him. He's 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 his credentials are all out on the on the table. Tin Wild's gotten a lot better recently, though. I think something dude, something has clicked, and and that like that last bit seems to be coming together for him. So. Um, I would, I would say that, uh, you know, watch out. Okay, big branching four. Rune putting together a pretty spicy one. We're gonna get ten here. Wow, ten wild to be in trouble already. Yeah, Ooh, that's gonna nothing, do it. That's gonna do it, probably. No miracle grow. Maybe if he had uh, seen the purples in the middle faster, could have done three moves before that second garbage came in. But you ever just watch Leprado and realize, like, oh, the game's just easy. You just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. To me, Lepraito still feels like playing against this skull, where they just make chains that don't make sense. But then you see them resolve, and you're like, I see how this resolves, but how did you get it? Like, where did this chain come from? <laughs> Throwing <laughs> in quite a lot here. This could be funny. Chain is big enough to keep any garbage off the back for now, but, uh... I'm not actually sure that the... Pressure is gonna be enough here. Rune may actually be in trouble. Yeah, Rune's pretty yeah. packed in. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so that mid game a... shot. Oh yeah, I was gonna say it, it felt like the uh, the mid game shot was uh, maybe there was a little bit of, of growing for tempo, um, and then it didn't do enough damage to Tenwell to throw him off his pressure. Yeah, the growing gave me the one chain. But I couldn't quite find any more than that, like I was hoping I would. Yeah. Very smart garbage to clear there. Really oh my cool. god. Very funny chain from Tin Wild. Too bad it cuts the efficacy of it in like half. <laughs> oh, he's just clearing out space now. This is gonna. He's gonna land all of this. Ugh. Alright, yeah, good color clear have though. Some pretty good gar uh, garbage clear counter. Yeah. But again, this doesn't, you know... Rune's board is still pretty okay, and that garbage is coming back, yeah, so... Uh, this is uh, another space piece. Trading five chains, yep. He's got a four follow-up, though, and Tinwild does not have anything to block it with. Okay, he kind of option yeah, selected there. So Tinwell did a very interesting move there, which th was that he set up two different pedals that could potentially be used as trigger. Uh, and he did that in case garbage, or so that it would lower the chance that the garbage would block both of them. And also, growing in there was a little bit scary, but he managed to beat the garbage, so... Pretty, uh, good moves all around. Oh my god. I mean, everyone's playing on such spicy, spicy boards now. Definitely don't get hit central. Oh, yeah, you can't... So there it is, right? If you have those, uh, the... If you push a pedal out of the way there, um, it's highly likely the garbage will land right in the space that you can cover. Oh yeah. Just because yeah, double pushes it, even with small amounts of garbage, not a good oh, idea. Oh, it wasn't even a double push. No, it was. There were two pedals spaced one apart of the same color. There's something in between, so it's oh. unlikely that a spawner will go in that space because there's something there already. But also on top of that, because you you remove the pedal, now it's empty, so the garbage is going to end up there. So there's like definitely some stuff you you want to avoid. Wow. Okay, Tim Wild. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Hell of a tempo save. Uh, Rune gonna be able to color clear into another trigger for that chain though. So pretty smart all around. Ah, a bracing job, but only bracing half. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Slidey, why these puzzles are so big, big brain feels like everyone in this bracket is playing year 3022. I don't know, man. Ooh, this is bad. 
Mora, you be quiet. You of all people. Okay. Seen a lot of the numbers. That's you know. <laughs> Sometimes the opponent has numbers. Sometimes they get num the numbers. Jpeg. Yeah, there's one moment in the. Uh, I guess it was in practice yesterday. I think Tinwald was fighting Raz, and uh, he did two skull chains immediately, and the game ended in 15 seconds. And I think we saw the highest numbers we've ever seen in a match that didn't have like turbo. <laughs> yeah, love to. Oh be my god, Tinwald! Playing against somebody who got 135, 152 on me. Yeah. So, the fun thing about that was, despite the fact that Tinwild may have created one of the world's greatest chains ever constructed, um, Rune just built second one! Yeah? Sometimes yeah. it happens. There is something to be said for speed. Yeah. <laughs> this is rough. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Having that second set of spawners come in at that very second yep. wasn't what I wanted. I'm out of the tournament. <laughs> oh. Alright. So I guess Digi will go on to fight Mora, and we'll go back to uh, Loser's round three. It was close, though. I mean... Oh, yeah, round three, two is close. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning five! I wasn't kidding. Okay. What a little split. Whoa, that was weird. Whoa, what? That was like a skull chain. You may have heard uh, Rune noting that the particular sequence of moves he did put together that bottom on the last chain did was not optimal. <laughs> it's something that as you uh, get better at pedal crash, you definitely start to understand movement at a very... Uh, ooh, that is raw. Yeah, that was like a yeah. yeah. There's a Probably a different sequence of moves that made that all work. <laughs> it always bugs me when two slayers are using a color that's like kinda close. The same guy. There's, there's like just a tiny difference. Like uh, Tim Tim blue, blue is just, very slightly brighter, right? Yeah, just very slightly more saturated blue from Pinwild. Alright. That's the price you must pay for fun colors. Sometimes you'll have a color that's just... Tim Wild forced to blow a lot of resources defending that. Rune had some moves to counter a small counter hit if he needed to, but did not was not required to have him. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 One move uh -oh. short. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No. It hurts. No. It really All right. hurts. Fine. Oh. We'll go by the games count instead of by who actually won. <laughs> <laughs> you won right, to one three. Really unfortunate timing on that last one. Just uh, again, one one move faster, and that would have been a big ol' counter hit. And instead, instead you get sniped. That's why again, this, this the game mode here is much more uh, about. There were two extensions on the head in a row where I yeah. couldn't set them up non-compactly. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh... So, which side of bracket are we headed to next? Winners. Oh, okay. We're doing winners finales. Oh, sorry. I had to dip for a second. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything too uh, much in terms of bracket pace. And where are we at? Uh, winners finals. <laughs> okay. Well, I got knocked out of the tournament. Well, before we do that, it's the usual time for. Uh, Announcement dumps. So, we have a pretty full June ahead of us. Um, starting with June 4th, this weekend, uh, Saturday edition is coming up 
is actually the first in our qualifiers for the uh, wider Puyo Community Advent League. So catch us for that, 8.30pm uh, EDT over here on Fightcade. We are running the Mega Drive version, and it will count towards uh, overall points and placement for the bigger Advent League finale over at Puzzle Kingdom in September. So, check that out. It's going to be hype as hell. Um, the following Wednesday... We are due for a uh, good old uppy downy slot, and we are doing something a teensy bit silly. It is going to be fools only mirror matches from beginning to end, or uh, as we're dubbing it, foolish edition. So catch that. Uh, it's going to be just a fun little valve pressure release for. The whole Magidoro Masters League that just wrapped up a little while ago. Um, on top of that, we are going to be back with Puzzle Fighter X Prime Rebalance. So, you know, get that new game smell. Pick Akuma because he's actually pretty cool now. Enjoy hmm. yourself. Uh, that is going to be, of course, Wednesday, 8 3 p.m. EDT. Check it. Uh... We do have a Nintendo slot this month. We are coming back with NES Warriors Woods, which, as you know, is probably one of our most shenanigan-heavy... I, I want to say semi-regular games. We we push Warriors Woods a fair amount around these parts. <laughs> I, especially in, you know, the long and storied halls of uh, Friend and Fairy Discord server, at least once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was before Puzzle Wednesday had their own Discord server. It's true. Which all the curiosity sort of spilled off into it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But I remember those halcyon days. It, it, it was certainly a time. But sure we, we have to start somewhere. Um, And we have two mystery games for June since we are starting literally on the first of this month. Uh, so... One of them is going to be Cleopatra Fortune Plus. Because, you know. Yeah, perfect. Because, why the hell not? And uh, the other one, in a, uh, a roundabout way to celebrate Pride Month, uh, Amelia very much picked, or, uh, pitched. Xerxene, you're going to need to give me the full name on this one. Uh, hang on, I have to remember the full Ranma name Ranma one half Olgi Janken. There you go. And it's the Ranma one half rock, paper, it. scissors puzzle game. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very silly. Keep an eye out for it. And with that, I believe we have all of our uh, June announcements out of the way. So let's right. go. Let's uh, let's do it. It's time for winners finals. Yep. Who will be the final winner? We, we won't find out in winners finals. You'll have to wait for grand finals. All right, folks. Ready when you are. Mm. Mr. Tenneth Wilds. Oh. Oh. Sign of life. Synchronizing. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Real life Crypto is a controller player. Yep. <laughs> sure is. Uh, 
That was a oh, pretty good boss what? chain by 10. Oh yeah, except for the cut at the very end. Oh, I meant Leprido cut his chain super bad. I think he miscounted and thought it would still be a 5. Then uh. he was 4. And so Tim Wild won the initial, uh, the initial battle here. He's actually got a pretty good series coming up here. Okay, that... I would have just used the yellows there. He lost a little bit of tempo, but seems to be doing all right. The Prado kind of caught in the corner. Uh, does have some moves to get out, but he's. Oh, that was the that was the real hairy. one. Uh. Say, wild. I wonder if he saw that one. Ouch. Oh, man. Tin Wild got a wild. pretty good start. To me really press the advantage the whole match. Yeah. Yeah, that opening blunder by Lopraito, I think, really, really threw him off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lopraito is growing a lot. Okay. It's a bulky five out. That's gonna land. Well, it's got a follow up. Come back. <laughs> oh, cut off. You can see it. Oh, yeah. Now, Leprito oh, hit their stride and it's over. <laughs> Flop, are you talking about Leprito or Tim? Well, also, goddamn, those are numbers. Because Leprito, at this point, I would. I would almost believe it less if you said he didn't see the tempo save, but... <laughs> no, it's what I pointed out with Tin Wild. There was one where oh. it happened about step two of the chain, and then helped at about step seven of the chain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those... That's the real skull stuff. <laughs> okay, I can move this blue out of the way. Okay, he still wants the extension, but... Oh, Leprado oh, no! loses it! Yeah. Oh, no! It's over! Yeah, dead. Oh! What on earth? Oh. That one Jesus. mistake with that block that spawned in and cut off the whole thing. Yeah, cut the second or third orange link. Yep. I'm yeah, surprised they that. didn't think of a plan B fast enough. The left side of the board could have been freed up enough to make a, like a four chain out of that rather than the two or so. Yeah. Alright. And I think maybe this is just, you know, Leprido not respecting, like, having so few turns enough. If he's getting really pushed on it, then maybe maybe this is what happens. All right. He is throwing together some real bangers now, so Tumon's going to eat some of this. Yeah, taking away that giant purple bouquet was maybe correct and maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Leprido with the big sandwich. Tinwald with a big branching one of his own, but only a two chain. So only gonna do. Can only do so much blocking with that. <laughs> yeah. On the edge of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can it. see Tinwald's garbage efficiency was a lot lower. Whenever you throw away big bouquets or branching chains in ones and twos like that, you're yep. paying a price in the long term. Yeah. Although, on the other hand, I mean, if you're not trying to block, um, and one thing that we've, you know, I mean, Rune, you've experimented with this to success, and I mean, other people probably have also caught on to this as well, but, uh, sometimes you catch them, but, oh my god. Well. Yeah, it's um, difficult my, my... to make the decision on the spot of, like, okay, can I get away with not blocking this? Mm -hmm. That's for sure, but also just like, if you don't have to block, then a large branching 2 or 3 may snipe your opponent just because they don't expect so much garbage thing coming. That's true. They, they hear that's, like, yeah. yeah. They that's hear the kind of thing you do on offense <laughs> rather than defense. Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So sometimes garbage efficiency, not all it matters, but if you are defending, then uh, it certainly matters a lot in this mode. <laughs> Mm, a lot of grows from Tim Wild. Oh, he's looking for. Uh... Do 
Ooh. All right. Finally working around this color conflict. Gets a funny cyclic extension there. Neck and neck. Oh, little chain broken. Actually fine. The fighter didn't have the follow-up in time. Uh, Ow! No, he still okay, got it. It's fine. Ultimate. Yeah, yeah <laughs> even slowing him down just a little bit, though. Yeah. Oh. Oop. Certainly you take what you can get, but... Tim Wild might be able to get out of this if... The Prido can't put something together really fast. Mm. It's not he looking just, good, though. Yeah, he's just keeping enough pressure on that Tim Wild wasn't able to block out his entire queue. We'll cancel it off. And then when Tim Wild finally let it drop, there was still, you know, another chain waiting right after that, so... A one-two punch! All that will look right to the special. You don't have to call it that. Okay, uh, you gonna play? Okay. Right with a pretty fast one in the tank here. Okay, he's gonna beat this uh, chain from Tinwald out. Tinwald doesn't. Well, he actually, I guess since it was his second chain. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's it! In the wrong place, the right time. Oh no, we're not tied up. Sorry. Emotionally, we're tied up. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> trash attack is. Yeah. Yeah. If you like that. Okay. Ooh. Pedal crash. <laughs> Yeah, again, sometimes you gotta learn to cut it off before uh, before you get to five. That's you hate to do it. To but... hold them folks, then. Trash and attack. Not even sleep. Okay, we're probably gonna, not even gonna look for the blue extension here. He just wants the pressure. <laughs> Maybe the correct decision. He's looking like he's about to snag it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Another 4 damage, kind of blocks off the center of Tinwell's board. He doesn't really have a follow-up ready, so... I'm making a little progress digging out. Oh! oh. oh. What awful oh. garbage. <laughs> got the the location duck. of the spawners, yeah. it was hard for you anywhere else. Yeah, no, that was definitely, that was definitely what, you know, was gonna happen, but... <laughs> the little duck. Got him. By three, Lefrido will move on to Grand Finals. That was a good set of matches. Yeah, that was good. Alright, where's that gonna put us on? Loser side. Digi Moriconda. Thank. This and demonstrating some of the movement tech. I can't do that, I'm on pad. <laughs> Is, uh... I thought for a second, like, maybe if I try an SOCD and, like, do up and down at the same time, like D-pad on stick, it would do something, but no. By the way, Moraconda's name is Mara, so... Mara. Gotcha. So they are here. We need to get on the cab. I think we need to get on the cab. Are we gonna do this? No, I think... I think Mora just wants to panic animation for a little while here. 
I am absolutely Get on throwing the you out of bracket next time that you Get sneak on the in. Cab. I will end stream. I am <laughs> not did, even kidding. My patience with you is none. <laughs> Mara really racking up the ban levels. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little thing known as backing out of the wall. Yeah, going back in. Cool. So these two played a pretty longish set the other day. I think it was a tug of war, but Mara has been kind of out of the game for a while. Um, it's at least a couple months. Uh, whereas Digi has been on the grind. Oh, Mara looking for some. Okay, Ooh, okay. Found it. Found the way out, yeah. <laughs> What's up, trailer? Oof. Digi, again, this board is very checkerboarded. Okay. Some pressure, but again, I mean, growing, growing in this mode is is definitely more of a like tempo play than in tug of war, just because your board being kind of messy means you have fewer opportunities to fuse color clear later. Just uh, you know, you can get caught off guard a lot more easily. So. You're gonna grow, better make it count. So I'm more playing on a pretty freed up board right now. Ooh, taking garbage right where they don't want it. Ooh, popping out a five chain, but Digi's gonna block all of it. Actually, has two chains to get rid of that with. This blue not gonna go to where it needs to. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure Moro was the winner of our other trash attack bracket. <laughs> so. I don't recall. That does sound right. Yeah. That was a pretty drag out match. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of tennis in the mid game there. Yeah, look at these numbers. Very even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, definitely a lot in the mid game there. Just, uh, you know. Firing back and forth the same five garbage. <laughs> Until somebody's forced to take it. More of a very uh, conventional opening build here. Mm -hmm. I now look to. Yeah, it puts a T split in it. Oh, and it's some branches too. Ooh. It's now going to be quite powerful and fast. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna Great. all come back. Did you better be ready? I don't think that he was ready. No, I don't think they were. <laughs> <laughs> that chain went on for like seven years. Yeah, I mean this yeah, was they put also... A... Yeah. <laughs> they put a T-split in it, but they didn't actually like build a lot off the branching side and just kept extending the head anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean... Mora was known for uh, enjoying the opening greed off a lot. I mean, when we were playing more. Uh, a famous moment where uh, Mora, I think, hit missing no with like a 60. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. There is yeah. definitely room in trash attack for the opening greed off as long as you're careful about it. Yes. But that's you have just to be about ready the to only time you like can do at it. Any time. Yeah. If you're ever two moves away from setting up, <laughs> setting up your opening greed chain, you're yeah, you death. you may be very caught off guard. <laughs> either either you have to be paying very close attention, or I mean, there's other ways to do it. Like if you're building your opening chain, um, you know, one of the ways around this is just to, uh, as you start getting towards the point where you are like running out of greed to do, um, mm -hmm. then you start building less and less compact links, mm -hmm. uh, and then generally speaking, one of them will still work. Okay, yeah, look at this. God, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 Why can't I do oh, this? That's a fun open sandwich at the very end. Yeah. <laughs> 22 back through 25. <laughs> yeah. 
You can't let him run away like that. Oh, yeah. 12 by 39. That's about, uh, 47? Right? Uh, yeah, sounds about right. Disgusting. Okay. Well, he's probably gonna put these reds back where they were. That thing back where it came from more, so help me. <laughs> yeah, definitely Digi winning a little bit on that opener because he was a little bit more uh, decisive about where it was going. Uh, now probably has some minor advantage. Okay. Maybe didn't see the three chain there. It still has a lot of gas on the board, so probably this isn't going to be super bad. Okay. Interesting you just choose to extend. So, but... Alright. Now it looks like Mora's finally found his footing again. Uh. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, now there's no room. Mm. We're gonna need some <laughs> serious color clear plays in order to make this at all winnable. Cool. There was more stuff to do at the bottom, but would have had mm. to be very fast to beat out Mora's next uh, set of moves. And again, very, uh, very much different than the, the last, uh... Oh, okay. Oh man, look at this opening chain by Moro. We got, we got a deli. Yeah, this is exactly what you want. <laughs> oh, do we ever have a deli? <laughs> oh, one of the reds didn't go off like I expected. That was strange. Yeah. Did you block some solid at the... Yeah. I mean, the thing about that kind of formation is it just does require you to spend a bunch of extra moves making it compact. <laughs> yeah. It also resolves quickly, though. That's true. So, yeah, by the time it finished, Morrow was ready to just start building out of the chain. Some gas left. It's gonna have to start building from scratch here, though. Right, it finds a yeah fortune, but uh, Digi's got some nice stuff too, so that's not gonna kill yet. This may catch him off guard. Uh -huh. So managing to make oh didn't use the greens? Did he? Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, really, really raw. Yeah, he's gonna have to do a bunch of things now. A lot of double pushing. I think that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. More a 5-0 over Digi. Despite, again, I think it was... You know, <laughs> we're gonna say 5-0, but it was close. It certainly, uh... <laughs> certainly felt like they were a lot more evenly matched, but just more uh, had the, you know, 10 to 20% edge every game. Instead of it, you know, being more, uh, more varied. Good play from everyone involved, though. Yeah. Mora will move on to fight Trash Mode. And, uh... I guess the other side of Losers Round 3 will be Raz and Dark Slayer. Raz, who has changed character yet again. Becoming the world's most precious little angel. I like how that just was followed up by complete silence for about 10 seconds. <laughs> mm. you, you all really wanted me to think about that one, huh? Sometimes you just have to think of it. I've said far more embarrassing things on stream, so... It's tempo saver! She definitely saw that. Raz, Raz was scoping that tempo saver for 10 years. Guaranteed. Mm. And Dark Slayer gets a corner case. Oof, this might just be curtains? Yeah, that top it, right corner out. of their board. There is a way out. That's not even it. It's still there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're starting <laughs> to get there. Uh, not fast enough. Oh, actually, 
Oh. No, not quite fast enough. I think that, what was it, the greens down, and then followed by the blue to the left, maybe could have freed up that blue chain in the top right, and then, then you start yes. working out from there. Yeah, there are faster ways to dig through that garbage. Yeah. But, uh, again, Raz with the Lightning 6, um, you know, that'll, that'll hit somebody. We'll do some stuff. Well, we're looking at another Lightning Chain here, aren't we? Didn't even have to move that, actually. It's fun to see them, like, take the first few moves when they were identical. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so Dark Slayer with a much more heavily branching chain, even though it was shorter. Mm. Neither player on, like, a fantastic board right now, though. Dark Slayer has a Ooh. little bit more gas. If Dark Slayer grew into that, it would have been an incredible chain. Hmm. Uh, Dark Slayer wasting a lot of materials right now. Okay. Oh, oh what? Blocked. Dark Slayer. Full corner cased. Dark Slayer had an actually incredible two move extension on the head of it. That would have been insane. I also missed a bunch because we were in yeah, I yeah, 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 I, I synchronized as well. It is, you know. I mean, look, we've done a few memes about Vietnam internet. Oh. Looks like Raz got sniped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four garbage on board. <laughs> Again, that's, that's you know, I mean, it, I didn't get to see the lead-up to that for the most part, but, you know, crash tag, man. You gotta keep some, some buffer. Otherwise, you are just going to Buffer, lose. you'll wait for. So true. Oh. Very nice opening from Raz. Yeah. Dark Slayer is also neat, but again, not a five. Gonna lose the initiative here. Okay. I have definitely seen worse situations though, so. Yeah, Dark Slayer's got gas. Fun franchise chain from Raz. Yep. Only lands a little bit of it though. Yeah, Darkseid has some things cooking, so he's actually able to block that perfectly via... Yeah. Oh! <gasps> and now here almost... comes another 5 page from Darkseid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. That clear actually almost robbed Darkseid of his opportunity to respond. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the 2 chain was just long enough that it, it uh... Darkseid accepted damage and his next move actually was a grace move, otherwise he would have lost it. <laughs> a little scary wow. gaming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, both players again finally getting to the point where they're they're uh, you know trying to squeeze extra tempo out of grows and things, and, and we're we're gonna play garbage tennis here probably until somebody <laughs> croaks. Um, Raz really maybe was looking okay, for a way to yeah incorporate those reds at the top, but couldn't find it fast enough. This might do it. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Slayer is not fast enough on that double push with the greens. Same situation as before, if you double push, just like Rune said before, you double push that uncovering a space in the middle there is highly likely to get garbage in the middle. Another reason why uh, filling your board up is, you know, can get very awkward. Yeah, I see Ten Wilds. Going a little crazy over there. It's that time of the night. Oh, Raz. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing's wrong then, at all. <laughs> then why did you say anything? Oh, alright, well, it needed bottom sandwich fix. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's a follow up in Napalm. Yeah. Yeah, Dark Slayer forced to respond very quickly to that one, and maybe actually just having to blow a lot of resources on the board not to not to take ten when his board is not really ready for it. Okay. Oh. I was freezing for a little bit there, maybe deciding whether to move that red back into place and try and extend up the top. Wait. Did she forget she didn't do that? <laughs> uh oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
I think she forgot she didn't actually link those reds together. I thought she was just gonna do something else, but... Yeah, it's strange. Okay. She didn't really react by trying to set up a new head for the chain either. She just left all of that there and then died. Yeah, that's why, I, I mean, sometimes you can do some stuff where if you don't expect your opponent to hit you very hard, you can leave the chain there, do something else, and then call it clear back into, like, some massive trigger for it later or something like that. I know Mora used to be a big fan of stuff like that. Um, but, you know. You do have to, uh, the, the, the pedals do have to link up at some point. It's true. Ooh. Oh, that was clever by Dark Slayer. I'm not sure if they tanked and sent on purpose, but if they did, it was definitely a correct move. Yeah. Also, I'm surprised that <laughs> that almost looked like it should have been a same color link off the garbage. I think Raz may be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, this, this deciding... follow up. I think There's Raz no might way. be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Deciding not to take the three chain there was a little bit suspect, but I mean, even after that, yeah, Dark Slayer had too much waiting in the chamber. See, this is again why we used extended um, set lengths in uh, Trash Attack as opposed to uh, Plug of War. Because sometimes, and by sometimes I mean often, the game's end in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you play the opening well enough, sometimes you just do it. Just give them the hands, and then uh, that's it. It's over. Yeah. Very fun branching chain from Raz. That's gonna be nice. Oh, some stuff grew in the end there, but it's actually probably not going to matter. This is, yeah, it's going to cancel out that whole thing. So Raz has a tempo advantage now, if nothing else. Hmm. Yep. She's looking for the blue to put on the head of this chain. Scoping around for a couple of uh, extras. Alright. Dark Slayer is canceling out the garbage shows the face again. Alright. Yeah, the space Dark Slayer really needed to stay open there had a spawner in it, which ended up quite nicely for him. Oh no! Oh, oh my wait, god! Wait, wait. Red. <laughs> Did Raz really get a grace move at that point in time? Oh man, oh, it's not matter, enough. though. The one garbage with one open space? <laughs> Imagine? Shoot, okay. Again, after a little bit of a misfire in the opening there from Dark Slayer, able to uh, regain the advantage. It looked like some help from uh, Raz growing a little too many times, or a few too many times in the game there. Lightning 2. Judging from the way Raz set that up, I think it was intended to be a 3. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. The Dark Slayer right. was building around the edge, most of it went to the middle so it didn't really interrupt anything. But having garbage in the middle of your board is a huge pain. <laughs> the garbage is... Oh, yeah, I know that there's nowhere this will really bother you. I'll just put it in the way of your next move that you're buffering. <laughs> Malevolent garbage, yeah. This is, you know, this is why we get the, the funny... Oh, that was left. an interesting chain by Raz. I didn't actually see the part on the bottom right until it resolved. Yeah. Yeah, and Raz, Raz plays for tempo a lot. This is this is her style. She makes it work. Oh, landing in the middle there. Yeah. Finds the, the pivots to the three chain, but oh another seven coming in? Okay. Yeah. This will be raw. Yeah, no purples around to really interact with these newly uncovered purples either. It does manage to Get some stuff off, <laughs> but this is a lockout, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's not no, quite a lockout. Yeah. Not quite, but it's not a good position. Yeah, this is death now. Just a little too slow. 5 2, Dark Slayer. Wow. Okay. And good play there. I think Dark Slayer just made it work better on emptier boards. And so if he made it to the mid game, usually he would uh he would, you know, eke it out. Um 
whereas Raz was winning a lot of openings, but but then putting herself in a little bit of a uh, you know ickier situations after the fact. Mm -hmm. Ten wilds gone hyper. Yep. This it's is loser ten wild. <laughs> Okay. It's too early. They don't have to play for a little while. <laughs> they can only maintain energy. that form for so long. Their <laughs> energy. <laughs> oh boy. So here's a match that I'm actually pretty interested in. Trash Boat Moraconda. This is this is really like I their their playtime as pedal crash players more or less completely disjoint. I don't think I've ever seen them play each other before. <laughs> uh, and even though this isn't really you know, tug of war, which both of them have put a lot more time into. Um, it's still going to be interesting to see how this one turns out. They both throw silver. Do you see you in? Yeah, he's in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see the uh, the character changes keep happening. Can't tell who's who anymore. I I, I saw between try. my three uh, favoritism palettes. It's true. It's true. I've got a palette that's literally just based on real life me, so I have to use it. Also true. Fair. So Mora landing that big first hit and trash boat. Okay, so I think one thing I will say though is that um, when Mora was oh my god, okay, <laughs> that just happens and then you just die. Um, yeah, one thing I will say about Mora. But it seems like since they started de-rusting yesterday, they're like... This is like a lot of mouse execution habits, which, you know, can rust too if you don't play a lot. Um, it seems like like Mora's execution has just gotten a lot, you know, cleaner. They're playing a, a lot faster, they're making fewer mistakes. There's, you know, less time in between, you know, pushes and... and Oh, well. <laughs> right after I say make a few mistakes. That um, didn't seem like a mistake. I think it was a mispush. I think they knocked a, an extent or a branch out that they didn't want to. That's that might just do it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, trash but I think grew in to try and get some some counterplay and and then more had a two chain follow up and that was that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. A, I feel like uh, mouse execution, like, w without having buffering to rely on, like, it takes practice. Mm. It's something that you're not just gonna, like, come back to and be like, oh yeah, like, I know how all this stuff works immediately again. Yeah. You, uh, mouse players have spent time on it. They've, they've figured it out. So. Ooh, trash boat's chain getting interrupted. At, you know, one link from the head here. This is okay. He <laughs> he thought he was dead, <laughs> but it turned out he got a grace move and it let him live. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really yeah. Mm. Ooh, that was yeah, that yeah. was not so good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh no. Puzzle. It's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Well, why do you go that way? <laughs> It's fine, he's fine, oh wait, no he's not. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, everything's You're fine. right, if he went left instead of right, it might have been a little bit better, but it's hard yeah, to Yeah, he might have got like two more moves. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a uh, match two, but... You, you move stuff like, you know, it's, it's an ice puzzle, basically. Stuff will slide until it hits something. Yeah. Alright, this yeah. is Crash Bird's best opening of the set, probably. Absolutely. Yeah, he managed to land all of that. This is, I mean, Mora gets his chain anyway, but like, Trashboat has a follow up. That's not gonna land really. Mora's still working on getting garbage out of the center. Yeah, Trashboat has a follow up here. He should be able to seal this. Ooh, doesn't play with three chain. Yep. Well, maybe a little premature on the grow here. Where's he gonna get a second purple from? Or he just gives up on it, which is fine. That grow was maybe premature. Oh, he doesn't take the the free chain off the color clear. This could be oh. sticky. Never mind. <laughs> he just, he just, he, again, he just like does stuff in disadvantage that I would consider like needlessly greedy, and then 
75 percent of the time it still works out <laughs> <laughs> okay he's fighting decent enough counter pressure for the time being where even though his board kind of looks like garbage it's uh yeah not the a thing is board. that Mara, Mara's board doesn't look fantastic either like the entire top half basically Ooh. there's only like two pairs in it yeah, I'm starting to go on the offensive here. Yeah, Trap definitely found, found his out. Uh, he broke his chain half there a little bit, but he's just gonna ignore it and carry on, which is exactly what you need to be doing in those kinds of situations. <laughs> people, okay, this is one thing that I tell people, like, um, oh. a fast good move is better than the, like, a slow great move. Mm, um, absolutely. That's what trash oh. is there, like, even if your chain cuts, like, you just find the next way to, to set your chain off. Like, don't sit there and think about, like, oh, how can I repair this to the state it was before? Don't even bother. Just go. <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Actually, at the very end of that round, Trashboat had a three or a four chain that he did just did not notice at all. Yeah. Went for a different red clear instead and took a bunch of damage. Oh, the greens getting kind of not locked out here. Could have actually used the reds to push those greens together. Not sure what he was looking for instead. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm not gonna beat this though. I think he might just be trying to abuse color clear now, actually. Oh, surprisingly went for that. That doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, that works. The reds, alright. And the problem Ooh. is he hasn't managed to land much on me. Uh, like, Mora's board does not look great, but it does not look bad. That grow was ill-advised. Wow, Mora may have just thrown the game away. Yeah, I didn't want to do that one. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a very live board until that grow. <laughs> yeah. All right. The reverse 5-0 begins. It's, uh, look. We need a different set of sprites for final days so Trash Boat can go change mid-set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, setting up the corner sandwich. Oh, just kidding, he's going for the whole deli. Yep, there it is, the greens coming in. No, he's gonna extend the Nah, yeah, as I was say. <laughs> those those yeah, so obviously know. had to be the head of the chain, I didn't even think Mora would go for it. Okay. There's a truly incredible opening chain built reasonably <laughs> quickly, too. Yep. Huh. <sighs> Ooh, interrupted by garbage. Yeah, this is another thing that Rune was talking about the other day, that, um... Ooh. Landing garbage, even small hits, like, in Tug of War, um... Does affect your opponent in so far as, uh, you know, growing becomes slower or whatever. Um, but in this mode, it may force your opponent to just completely reroute. <laughs> yeah. So it's... Each, landing small hits will sometimes have an even greater effect on slowing your opponent down, and that, uh... That was an example of that, but Mara up 5-1. Wow. Alright. I believe so, uh, the bracket is now linear with me or Darkslayer, whoever wins this one, as the star of the show. That is correct. So, oh, Rune, Rune is now red. Yeah, yeah I decided... <laughs> It matches how the palette. Much, how much I play Tin Wild, I've decided I don't want to be basically the exact same color as Tin Wild. <laughs> <laughs> red rival, blue rival. Mm, yeah. You don't have a lot of red players, though. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I feel like this. I feel like this kind of red matches the character I play. Yeah. True. It is. It is I mean, if it's, I guess the, the the one in the palette is a little darker, but that's fine. We like a blood red here. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Whoa, what a smart opening chain. And Dark Slayer uh -oh. is not ready for it, yeah. Well, okay, he does set his chain off, but. Actually manages to cancel it, but Rinse does not got follow up. Yeah. Okay, Rune got some pretty good follow-ups for this, too. He's gonna continue making the sandwich. Doesn't even need to look, he just needs to look and see that his opponent has about, you know, eight spaces left on board. Sending a chain worth about eight. Will do the job. Doesn't even care that he didn't brace that purple. He's gonna, you know, keep well, going. Rex player not giving it up easy. Well. 
<laughs> that wasn't easy. I mean... <laughs> we're gonna have like a free two move extension at the head of that chain too, so... Used some nice things together. Going up to the top. Oof. War Honda still has it. No, again, I think I'll, uh, a lot of, you know... War Morikonda... After having picked back up the, you know... Ooh. Okay. Cuts to a 4, but that might actually just do the trick. Again, cutting your, catching your opponent off guard is very powerful. That's why sometimes cutting your chains short is actually the best move. Yeah, Darkseid just doesn't have the room for this at all. You can play around it a little bit, but he doesn't have a red to uh, keep going with here. He can kind of find a way into this chain, or not really into the chain, but... Ouch. There was a brief moment where he had a way into the stuff on the left, but... Covered it up again, and then that was that. Hmm. <clears throat> <sighs> yep. Down to the light in five. Oh, whoops. Our player was caught without a response. He's still looking for pairs here. He probably wants to line these purples up, but doesn't quite get that either. Uh... I'm not actually sure what he's looking for now, but this is this is not gonna help him. Yeah. Alright, he's got go. some Imagine action with the reds, so but <laughs> good lord. Yeah. That was a fairly Brun. clever chain fusion that I almost managed to pull off entirely. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say uh, Dark Slayer was scrambling for some ways into the center and then half of Rune's board disappeared and reappeared on the other side of the screen. <laughs> I wish I could have made the other half go away too. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my god, and the tempo saves at the end. <laughs> Alrighty. So Darkslayer does have ways in here. Ah, uh, not quite. His board is kind of slow right now, though, so... Okay. Oh, hang on, okay. Ah, uh, right. yikes. Napalmed. <laughs> so that's the... Oh, the grow-in from Darkslayer is a little unnecessary there. Yeah, I was gonna say, he may actually pay for this one. Alright, he is still cancelling, but... Good lord if this isn't really scary. Okay, Darkslayer finding a couple three chains here. That was a little uh, too greedy, I don't think I'd move here. Yeah. Instead of taking from the middle there, Darkslayer going with a little bit of a circuitous route on the outside, so it's a good thing that he landed the fatal hit by then, because <laughs> yeah, without the garbage in Q, that may have gone the other way very quickly. I think it's not gonna matter. <laughs> uh, I think not. that's it. Oh, I said more. Stop! No, but it might have been important. 
<laughs> the first shot was the teaser, right? That's, you know, you force them to, you scare them into setting off whatever they were building, and then you follow up with the... Yeah, you know, yeah, I'll uh, pretend, I'll pretend that's what my strategy was. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Okay. That's, yeah. That's a franchise, all right. Who are we sponsored by this stream? Juicy, do we have a sponsor? Uh, I'm the sponsor. Oh. Okay. We're sponsored by uh, the IB Smart Sandwich Company. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, freshest ingredients, tasty subs. Made with love. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that was unavoidable that the garbage landed in that one spot between the two yellows, but once it did, that was uh, GG. So that's 5-1, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So Rune will continue to be in the hot seat, facing off now against Moraconda in the loser sandwich. Protagonist of the loser's run. At least until the anime pulls a bait and switch and you realize that wasn't the main character the whole time or something like that. Mm, yeah. Why are my inputs let's not working and, anymore? Let's try and save that twist right for the end. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, the, the first of potentially many Yosodi team kills. Um, three of yeah, the four there's one, there's one delivery in the way, but I think aside from that... <laughs> <laughs> this is now a horse-only tournament. Uh, of course. And, I knew it would be overrun by Yosodis at some point. Uh oh. There's a crashing against the wall of gold. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that help. noise. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, oh, the garbage did not actually block Morris' chain off. <laughs> 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 or at least it only did very temporarily, so he got to do one of his favorite things, which is tank and sense. Oh no, that's not the correct way to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm, I'm still yeah. dead there. There's... Ooh, is... red's on the bottom? Would have kept you alive, maybe? Left or right? Nah, there was no way to crash two of them together. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Yeah. I thought you had two separate groups, but... Okay. Uh, the three and the two already had two things between them. Oh, is that right? Okay, I thought it was yeah. a spawner with one turn left. Never mind. All right. We're getting a little degreed off. More gets a little extra. Is it gonna matter? You gotta spend a little more time waiting on this chain. It's gonna be a this time. Follow up off. Yeah. You know, Mora got angry at me. Follow up off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so game looking quite even. Just this huge pile of garbage going back and forth. Yeah, I would say Mora has a very minor tempo advantage right now, but it's like n not match deciding in any way. Oh, oh, well. I mean, Rune does have this. It blocks <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything blocked. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> again, sometimes you just get there in time, right? Sometimes the big heroes crest over the horizon, and uh, <laughs> it's fine actually. One of those Dragon Ball Z beam fights. A little bit. It's kind of what this is like. You let go, you die. Haha, <laughs> my opponent's out of steam. Oh no, so am I completely. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, I hate to see it. Yeah, the numbers again quite high on, on both sides. I think really. Right. Both 
players. Pretty similar around the edge stuff going on here. Mm, not gonna find this in time, but we'll get some extra tempo off the color clear, it looks like. So maybe fine. We'll see. Oh, that was, uh. Oh, no miracle, bro. That hurts. Oh, but. Funny. Color clear gaming. <laughs> Again, Rune very good at making use of color clear, because uh, he's actually played this mode with, you know, a fair bit of you know, eye for it, so. And blocked off, but. Probably gonna get away with it. Oh, actually, if the spawners had one more turn, it would have been fine. That's really yeah. unfortunate. Yep. Yep. And again, I mean, this is kind of why people say that uh, Trash Attack has the, the sort of the comeback mechanic there, which is that if you have those solid blocks of garbage, because you tanked a big hit and punch your blocks empty or something like that, um, you can usually dig through them fairly quickly, like much more quickly than. <laughs> Uh, tug of war. That's on so, purpose. Yeah. Absolutely intentional design choices. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do a pretty fast one here. Unfortunately, those greens aren't gonna tempo save. That sounded but a little sarcastic. It, act it actually was an intentional design choice. Oh. <laughs> one done. He well, wasn't ready. Yeah, my, uh, my opening time. there, I think, was extremely good. It wasn't I... just fast, it was over heavily branching. I would agree that it was very good. <laughs> I would agree that when you win in one shot, it is usually... Well, really it's bad. usually because it's extremely good. Sometimes you just catch them off guard. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mora just ran out of them. Or just got caught without a, uh, an extra move there. If you've grown a bunch of times, again, if you're trying to make a tempo play and you've grown a bunch of times, that's, that's how you die. Mora again. Alright, he gets a little miracle grow, but this is not really gonna. Yeah, it only blocks and he is at the tempo disadvantage now for sure. Alright, didn't quite work, but again, still tempo advantage for Rune, so. Mora's board is pretty empty though, which makes it pretty hard for uh, any garbage attacks to have a really huge effect, but. I would say it's kind of cut off now, yeah. <laughs> this could potentially be very bad very quickly. Alright, the grow in there was very smart. You better get while the getting's good. Alright, now he gets to do a bunch of funny yellow stuff. That was an incredible choice of sequence of that moves. Oh, and then this is gonna keep him alive between or for that 20, but... Oh! <laughs> oh really <laughs> lucky garbage drop. Uh, yeah, this might be the end of the road, though. Again, Valiant I hope so. Over there though. would have been on the top of the screen to clear those blues and turn those garbage into more blues. Yeah, I mean, there was a 2-chain that Mora threw away that might have, you know, might have made a difference. I'm over um, here, like, having lost the tournament several rounds ago, being like, well, the proper move would have been this. <laughs> <laughs> there is well, according to Petalfish... Look, look. <laughs> You know, from the commentator's booth, you can see the right moves that maybe you don't in the heat of the moment. Oh, this is the fucking incredible chain. Oh my Goodbye. god. Goodbye. What the fuck? <laughs> wow! <laughs> was it a three chain? Yeah! I think it was. <laughs> Zero! No, it was four, actually. Okay. Oh my god. Didn't my even man. Didn't do anything. Alright. Rune with another one really and done. More getting hurt so bad. Yeah. Like, that felt like a Puyo round. That, that felt like... I don't even know that Puyo round. Like, they can go by that quick with power chains like that. They absolutely can, but they don't usually send a crown. <laughs> okay, so maybe some of the equivalencies don't 100% line up. <laughs> you 100% get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Plus the balls a little. Plus the mm, balls. And... This is a family-friendly stream? Is it? Uh, generally? Come on. You never had a little ball busting on it? Cersei, that's a I very know. personal question. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun. 
So... I don't believe there is a tempo advantage here yet, really. To be honest. I just saw the glances. Yeah. Game. Oh! Oh! That was oh. Fun. All right, Rune stringing together a bunch of like, it's not quite rendezvous, but close. <laughs> so make that into a five. Now Mora's board is completely bisected. He's actually gonna have trouble getting back in. Uh, that's the two by two. Hate to see it. Rune pulling ahead now. The board's bisected. So. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of that joke the entire time, but I was playing Pedal Crash. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the great part. Sometimes you just say it. <laughs> yeah. So yes, thank you for giving words to my thoughts there, Ashley. It's okay. Thanks for taking credit for my joke somehow. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound passive-aggressive at all. Oh, okay. uh, of course not. Okay. You say that as though the act of giving words to thoughts is not effort. Thank you for spending the effort on the thing I didn't spend effort on. I guess oh. I'll accept your thanks. <laughs> for now. Thanks for playing my video game. Ah! We have so many Mora, things to think Mora has been forced to color clear a new trigger into that several times in a row. <laughs> Alright, finally I think we're going to see some garbage land on the runes board here, but... Oh, uh -oh, that, uh -oh. One, mm, that one tempo loss. is none of this working. That one Ooh, mispush, the tempo loss. You can see it. Okay, we're going to game nine. <laughs> I, think I, had, I think I had four or five moves to work out one move. I'm your Sodi, we'll die here. If you die in Pedal Crash, you die in real life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm so desperate right now. Okay, Rune going for a couple of quick shots here. Forces more to blow a couple of resources off his board. He's still gonna find the chain. Oh, that almost worked out perfectly. We need to we need to make the grace period non-random. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh, uh, not random. Um, it... I have no idea. As long as Miracle Grows exist, it is at least in... <laughs> it might as well be. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fair. Okay. So, before we move on, um, I am... I had a memory awaken in my mind that I, uh, hadn't thought about for a hot minute, but... Uh... Sometimes Puzzle Wednesday collaborator and general very obscure puzzle guy, uh, Bank Bank, actually had a game release recently, Amche, and he was kind enough to give me just so many Steam keys. Like, oh. high double digits. Well, not high double digits. Medium double digits. Medium double digits. A generous amount. And uh, I'm going to pass off those savings to you. Uh, we're going to use Nightbot to draw a couple winners, and uh, I will Twitch Whisper you some Steam Keys. So, first of the night for giving the exclamation winner command to Nightbot, and the winner is... Flippery Floppery. Flippery. Alright, that's Flop. Oh wait, it is? It didn't say on my chat, that's weird. Oh, yeah, I'm there. Flippery Floppery is not following this channel. Dang. Um, so. You can fix that. I, yeah, dang. <laughs> but, uh. We are gonna do two drawings here. Why is it set? You're right. Anyway. Yeah, following some me. Oh, weird. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna do one more drawing as well, because, again, I got a lot to go through here. <laughs> Flippery, flopper you again! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh gosh, really? Why? <laughs> Very rigged. <laughs> We're gonna try one more time. <laughs> the three piece? No, okay. That's very flu. I. 
Who is also not following We're story. not giving it to Rez. She's staff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if I win, can I have one? Yes, if you win, you may have one. You may have one even if you don't win. (laughs) What the hell? (laughs) This is definitely rigged. Nightbot, why are you (laughs) doing this? It's again! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay, we we finally got one. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Dark Slayer, you... Okay, uh... I'm, I'm going to cry. (laughs) <laughs> why is why is doing giveaways so hard oh my heart anyway we can queue up those uh the rest of the matches now i will go ahead and pass along the keys to the appropriate winners i just <laughs> wow Flippery floppery, uh, tonight's, tonight is your night, apparently. The universe has dictated it. <laughs> also, Nightbot's just wrong. I don't think Nightbot thinks anyone follows this channel, which yeah, rude, weird. because we just crossed like 500 uh, last week. It's yep. pretty rad. Congratulations. Thank. It was during Pack Attack Bracket, which is cosmically fitting for me. Okay, game time. Seriously, can stop. Stop moonwalking. It's rude. Who are? Where are we at in bracket? It's winner se- or bet loser semis. Yes, Ooh, that was loser oh, semis. Loser is finals. Finals. Fin- finals. Finale. Okay. You, got, you guys gonna play the game? We got Mora and. No, there's Mora Kondo. Who? And Mora Kondo? Mora's on cab. Okay. I has gotta get in there. Cool. Okay. Oh boy. Representative of the UK. Ooh. Nice. You always wanted to give everybody like regional nicknames. Oh, I don't have one for Mora because he, uh, he's he's not in it for a little while. But Tim Wild is uh, the Viper from Vietnam. <laughs> Okay, Mora does find that trigger for the top left there. Again, very much, um, you know, the, the trash trial style of play there where you, uh, you know, push pedals into place by clearing somewhere else on the board. <laughs> Tim will be able to land the hit, though. Mora doesn't have a great response here. He can put the... Well, okay, all right. <laughs> So he Even just that one bit of garbage in the bottom left is getting in the way of those pairs a lot, though. Yes, that is correct. Oh, all right. Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah, Uh-oh. rather than clearing it out, they just keep making giant chains in the top right. Yep. <laughs> all right. Amora. Wait, did I win one? Huh? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, keys. <laughs> this one's on the house. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you are a winner. Wild tanks and sends a five chain. 
not going to be very effective because Mora did uh, block pretty much all of it. Okay. Now that was an interesting move. Okay. That actually worked out very well. Incredibly used to color clear red Mora. Alright, now Mora's just playing to clear out the board, it looks like. From the five chains. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, managing to get that one out in time. Ouch. Tinwild in the trouble. <laughs> okay. Well, if you put them numbers like that. <laughs> Again, Mora. Um, again, Mora, great escape artist. I don't know if it's you know good understanding of color clear or what, but I've lost many a game of trash attack to Mora just off the fact that they would dig out their chain and I would die as a result of that. <laughs> Mora looking... Oh, cut the chain! Only takes a little bit though, which meant that if it had gone off as planned, that would have been a real banger. He uses two chains halfway across their board, and Tinwald is stuck with... Only a little bit of counterplay oh. here. That's it. That's yeah, it. there's not much they could have done. Uh... I mean, I guess if they had done it faster, that blue double push may have been able to get out in time. And that, I think, was at least a three chain going to the bottom of the board, so... Yeah, um, possibly. Potential the best way to take the full like head of the chain, though, was covered in garbage and covered spawners. Yes. They would have needed to compromise on a fair bit of it. Yeah. So, not a great situation, but, but maybe a little less hesitation. It could have been a not-quite-dead situation. Okay. Yeah, I think I think Mora just has the tempo advantage here. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay, hang on. Well, they weren't ready for that one. That could be it. No, they have moves. Um, yeah, and now they've got it. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that green probably should have gone up instead of down, but sure, it works. <laughs> that's the chain, though. And uh, Tinwell's bored now again. And, uh... <laughs> Dang. Could have cleared the purple to so forestall death just a little bit, but... Alright, Mora on a, on a little bit of a rampage here. My brain is still of... broken overnight, bot. <laughs> Look, maybe Flop is just an extremely lucky person. Yeah, I'm like, just, man, dumped all I mean, the points wanna, into you that stat. You wanted to find a random person to give a key to, and Nightbot decided who the random person was. There was no problem. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay. That was, yeah, that was a bit strange by Mara. Maybe looking for the early disruption, but if he did, he didn't get it. And well, got yeah. the on power up. So true. It's also like, that's not really Mora's usual style, and they're winning by a wide margin, so why would they change their style? <laughs> Very true, but, I mean, Color Clear just literally handed them a free... Oh, absolutely, free yeah. Chain. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pinwell's well, gotta get access to that stuff on the bottom of the board. Uh, almost there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Blocking everything. Sure is a tense one, though. Again, I mean, Mora's cleaned up their board pretty much completely at this point. Mm. The, the usual Mora escape artistry. <laughs> yeah. They have one more big chain. Here it comes. And... If Tin can survive this, then the pressure's off for a little while. Yeah, okay. Yeah, That's the there, block. There it is. Oh, but Mora has another five chain. <laughs> <laughs> and... Wow. Yeah. Might be able to... Ooh. Oh wait, no, he's that's actually maybe fine. Yeah, he's got moves. He's actually got moves. Yeah. Uh, 
Very awkward. Oh, oh. yeah. Wow. Valiant effort. Five O. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Tin throwing that orange to the right was interesting. Because, like, obviously yeah. up would have maybe bought them a turn or two, but they tried to be a little bit greedier to buy more time in the long run. Yeah. Okay. That's a... Queen sweep? Winner yeah. in uh, Losers Finals. We're going to the Grands. We're going to the Grands. And, uh... What if All right. Right. Everyone's crowding the cabinet. Nobody knows who's on it. Are we good? Okay, it looks it's like it looks like the, looks like the correct people may be on the cabinet now. <laughs> All right. Two horses facing each other. Final horse down. Final horse down. Yeah. Yeah, Tim Wild, you were in uh, you were in hyper mode for too long. Beforehand. Yeah, <laughs> just like I said. The last okay. dance. And pretty. Woof. Okay, that's gonna get blocked. Yeah. <laughs> barely, yeah. But... Two chains with barely any branches, so Mara gets the better of it by just having theirs resolved first. Yeah. Although Moron, may... oh no, he is ready for this. Okay. Um... Yeah. No, they they had plenty more building time. Well, actually, it's Leprido who hasn't. Uh... Figured out how this chain's gonna come together yet? Okay, that's a pretty good four chain. Yeah, that completely cancels out more as much longer chain, <laughs> and actually kind of regains the tempo lot. Like, I mean, it wasn't really a tempo loss, but the tempo disadvantage just kind of wiped away by that. So if Lepredo can clean up, can clean up this board, then we're we're back in business. Oh, yeah, he's got plus kind of in a vulnerable spot with that crowded board. Oh, double accept. Yes. Yeah, ouch. That's no yeah. good. You hate to see it. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens when you get garbage while garbage is dropping on you, huh? Yep. Yeah. That is what happens. Good. Why did taking that chain backwards? Not sure what he's looking I think that might have been a discard that just accidentally hit something. Yeah. That is Yeah, now they have no... Well. Actually, no, they're building something. I got corner cased a little. Alright, it's fine. They found the five and it's pretty beefy. Oh, it's a six. <laughs> just kidding. So... This is, once again, Leprido... <laughs> I believe winning the tempo advantage this time. Um, gonna have some follow-ups here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was... I think by the fact that he was hovering over that move on the bottom, he did not expect those chains to fuse together <laughs> quite the way they did, but... <laughs> That's the problem with not watching your homer, is it's a lot easier for people to tell when you uh, do something <laughs> extremely cool by accident, instead of on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm always worried about that whenever someone sees me just whip my mouse around after a chain resolves. Yeah. Like, wait a second, why wasn't his mouse there in the first place? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I don't know, Raz. Is, uh, Moran's, Moran's got the, the instincts. Killer instincts. Killing intense. Oh, interesting decision by Leprido here. Yeah, actually. that's exactly what I was just thinking. <laughs> actually, yeah, come on. Okay, there they go. They've wrangled the chain now, but it's a little late. They're probably oh. gonna die. No, they just, I mean, okay. they had uh, a trigger that was not compact, so they actually did have the ability to set it off in one move. Hmm. But they do have to worry a lot about this. That's the follow-up. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. the thing about ever making Ooh. a compromise. Clearing up maybe did not do Leprido any favors there. Okay, he's got some some things. Got some funny color clear shenanigans happening. Yeah, color clear is happening at this location. That was about as bad as of a garbage fall as it could have happened though. Oh, 
Oh, that's that was there. there was a chain <laughs> right there. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yup. More combo. I'm assuming that Mora is staying up late because it's summer break or something like that. Hmm. Oh, okay. The Predator has managed to build a Titan chain. Yeah, I was going to say, Mora's <laughs> chain cutting there may actually, uh, normally with a chain that big you don't care, but <laughs> yeah. the thing that the Prido built <laughs> may have mattered. I'm actually yeah, surprised. Oh, he did the sandwich on that side. Yeah. It looks like Lefredo cool. gave up an easy red branch for a second. Mora's attack did force him to give up an extension of the head, though. But again, yeah. he did do the, the trick where if you build, you know, your links closer to the head, less compact, then you can't get caught by surprise. You may just have to take not as much of your chain at once. Oh my god. He had moves. He moves. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, 11 by 34. <laughs> sure thing. That's a uh, 42, I want to say. Uh, maybe a tiny bit better, but yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. I think the other part of it is that Leprido is growing a lot right now, and it does manage to get this chain out in time. Yeah, every but... every grow had intent there. They were they were needed for the branches and the extensions. Yeah, sure were. <laughs> but yeah, like it is yeah, more it dangerous is... to go all the way up to 63 in this mode. But you should still grow a fair bit if it just that's how the chain gets made. Yeah. Again, it's all about tempo plays. Um, the the trade-off between tempo and board cleanliness is just thrown into even sharper relief in, uh, in Trash Attack and Tug of War. Mm -hmm. huh. Lepredo is not doing what I expected. Mara's doing what I would have done with this board. Or Mara, rather. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Seem I'd like to think that I wouldn't have accidentally cut that part of the chain, though. Leprido's chain broke itself and then fixed itself. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. I'm just gonna take the, the blue here, yep. Alright, after adding an extra branch. The, you know... You know when they talk about the, like, you know, self-repairing nanobots or whatever? That's the kind of chain <laughs> you're looking at now. Mm -hmm. A little back and forth because of the missed push. Spawners are not solid. It seems like even even pedal crash is finest. Forget this. <sighs> uh, that's not going to block completely. Good. Yeah. Spawner's got a foothold now. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, that grow by Leprido is because he didn't want to move the pedals that he actually needed to stay there in order to not have his trigger recovered. <laughs> so. Smart move. It was very smart, yeah. Ooh. This That's surprising. A... With that chain Mora recently did, they moved the orange down instead of up, and I think that was just the worst way to take the trigger. Oh man, that those two garbage landing in the in the middle of that purple group actually just hosed the rest of his board. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually the extra branch that he could have had by moving the orange down instead of up, I wonder if it would have mattered. Because it, it would have meant two or three less garbage. Correct, yeah. Alright. So, Leprito is on tournament point here. It's true. Uh, okay. We're playing for time here. Mm, this isn't really gonna stop Mora from doing more things. Maybe he just wants to get hit second? Hmm. I mean, I will say that as a result of speed running, I am pretty sure that Leprido is very good at tanking and sending. <laughs> and that doesn't actually work anymore. You need to brace that. 
Okay. Oh, grace move. That turned into an absolute winner. Okay. Oh, wow. Just barely enough time to do this. Yeah. This is... Oh. Doesn't actually get the move he wants out of it, but is going to live it. Yeah. He's so not going to be happy. Yeah, Morrow managed, yeah, managed to play that maximally greedy to stay alive for just a little longer. Okay. That was the move. Yep. That was an excellent move. <laughs> Yeah, they've got a good combination of refusing to take damage sometimes, and then just accepting it and moving on at other times. Uh-oh. Oh no, That's it's fine, right, yeah. actually. Uh, managed uh, yeah, to keep the chain's the still things. there, but you don't get the... Well, it's one of those things where, like, you, um... You manage to... Oh, the red does not come in that way. Yeah, but now you can get the purples. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Um... Like... It, there's like a, a fine art to keeping your board or keeping the spaces you need covered, but also keeping the movement of the pedals that are covering those spaces free so that you can move them out of the way after the garbage lands and still have your stuff back. Um, I didn't clear that. Yeah, Mora is. Like, well, Mora demonstrated it there to not die. <laughs> and, yeah. And is now actually, again, fighting back quite, quite nicely here. <laughs> No, they went from below with the green. I thought it was the front of Yeah, that's also what I was looking at, but both seem to be equivalent. And again, this is like extremely much just garbage tennis right now. Nobody yeah, wants to take even. anything. Well, oh my god, well, okay. I wonder if they saw that. I don't know, but Lepridos chain cut and he's not quite ready. He's a little behind. Oh, Lepridos yeah. actually took a big hit. Well, yeah, but that's a good color clear. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and also. <laughs> Oh, Fredo clearly yeah, yeah. taking that paint from the bottom instead of from the center, so it's a little longer. Yeah, but it didn't, doesn't seem there. to matter. Fredo's probably gonna lose this one. Yes. Woo! Dang. That was fierce. <laughs> now it's what, two and a half minutes? 250. 250. Yeah, with uh, again, played very well, but Mora just. When, when, when Mora's back against the wall like this, you know? Things things happen. Very whack. Man, still, it's really dramatic. I always really like that. Oh boy. There's some right. nonsense happening here. I don't actually know what Mora is going for. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Not yeah, only that, but because they made two chains, this might actually block most of it. Oh! Yeah. It blocks all of it by one. Yep. Again, a little bit of a tempo disadvantage at this point, but nothing that cannot be overcome. Uh, um, losing the reds a little bit there, but Loprido has a banger chain coming out. This, uh... Oh, okay, Whoa. never mind. Alright, Moraconda's a genius. Oh, exactly. Fine. <laughs> Fine, fine. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's try that there for the three. That's gonna block perfectly. Again, in this mode, you know, this mode in co op, it's definitely very useful to remember your magic numbers. Uh, which are to say 3, 5, 8, and 12. Um, so if you see it's five garbage in the tray, uh, throw out a little, uh, little three chain. And uh, five garbage will be gone. Oh, more wanted. Mora a... Yeah. Ooh. I think that Mora Ooh. accidentally discarded something in a bad way, but then managed to find a backup plan extremely quickly. Uh, all right. Mora uh, losing a little tempo here, but. Uh... Okay, that's gonna be pretty good. Leprido actually on the back foot again here. Mora has managed to turn that tempo disadvantage from early game more or less around. Mm. Uh, very interesting move by Mora there, not taking the staircase on the right side. Because now he is taking damage. I tend to uh. take the elevator. <laughs> okay. Woo. Pretty good. But this is pretty good for Yeah, yeah I don't is think out. Mara doesn't have the count of this, yeah. Yeah, that's probably... Oh, well, that might be it. it. 
Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. That was or close. Making a show of it. Um, again. Right, though. Yep. Rains again. Absolutely. Whew. Can anyone stop this fighting machine? I don't know. It's tough. Alrighty then. Uh, with that, Lepreto is now four time Pedal Crash champion. Uh, I think. That's yeah. right. Terrifying. Um, so, keep your eye out. We'll be doing more Pedal Crash stuff in the future, but let's get to the rest of the June lineup. Uh, this coming Saturday is going to be the first of our Advent League qualifiers for the wider Puyo community. Uh, we will be doing it on Fightcade, the Mega Drive version of Puyo Puyo 2. Uh, this will count for points, uh, leading up to the actual Advent League finale over at Puzzle Kingdom in September. So, we will have three events, all of them first Saturday of the month. Keep an eye out. Um, on the next Wednesday, we are back to the Uppy vs. Downy slot. Um, now that the Magidora Masters League is wrapped up, we're actually going to be doing a little bit more uh, chill and variety for the Magical Drop three weeks, just as, you know, a pressure valve release. So, the first of that is going to be the Foolish Edition, which is strictly Fool and Mirror matches from beginning to end. <laughs> Gonna be, well, Foolish. <laughs> and also going to be at 8.30 p.m. EDT that week. Uh, the following week, we are back with Puzzle Fighter X Prime in X Prime Edition 2. It is our rebalance patch of Puzzle Fighter implementing the character balance cha changes from HD Remix minus Hard Drop done by our own KS. So, you know, shout outs. It's a good game. Uh, it makes a couple... It makes most of the cast slightly better, but it very much bumps uh, Akuma and Chun-Li to some serious prominence and you know you love a little bit of new spice in old games yeah it's also finally a bracket in a game that i'm good at hey i'm like this i'm like this one where i suck that <laughs> hmm. notoriously bad pedal crash player. yeah no Notorious. Yeah, exactly uh following that for the nintendo slot we are bringing back nes warriors woods which if you've been around in front of fairy you know May, may have started to get its legs there, so check that out. It's a good, funny, funny, funny game featuring Funny Wario. 8.30 p.m. EDT, third Saturday of the month. And uh, we actually started super early. As you notice, this is the first of June, so we have time for two mystery slots this month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of them is going to be Cleopatra Fortune Plus... The other is going to be, uh, in honor of Pride Month, the Ranma One Half game, which I'm sure Raz can absolutely fill in the actual proper title for me. Ranma One Half Ogi Jankan. So what if Rock Paper Scissors was a falling block puzzle game? It's it's kind of weird. It's kind of really weird, but we're gonna crack it open sideways like we always do. And uh, with that, that's going to be June lineup, and we're going to go ahead and raid Moose from Puzzle Kingdom. Yeah. Doing some uh, Puyo Tattoo. Nice. Have yep. a good time, everybody, and remember to play Paddle Crash a lot. <laughs>